Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop effects and create uh, something similar to this uh, on the screen. Um, this is basically a uh, background and a text and bunch of effects. So first I'm going to show you how to create this background with gradient color. Uh, let's disable the text layer so you can see this is a um, simple document with uh, two colors on gradient. So let's go create this first. Uh, I'm gonna go to File New, create a new document and I'm gonna stick with 600 by 400 pixels. So 600 by 400, create. There you go. If you want to create a larger document you can do that too. Um, I would like to apply a gradient effect to this page so in order to do that you can set your colors right here in the toolbar we have foreground and background colors the first one I'm gonna double click on it and change the hexadecimal to this number 291B1B Let's click OK and for the background again double click on this and I'm going to change that color to 7B5455. Alright so we got these colors set. Now we're going to go to layers. This layer is locked. First we need to unlock it. You need to click on the lock icon. Okay, now it's released, we can apply effect to it. So the effects are here in the bottom under FX icon. I would like to apply a gradient overlay. Uh, since we have created our or set our colors here, immediately I get this effect, um, which is wonderful. If it's not uh, if this color is not picked up for any reason, you can come here under this drop down menu and select the uh, first item. Alright, so we have our uh, background layer set. We're good to go. Now we're going to pick up the T tool. Uh, let's take a look at the options here. Um, I'm going to go for something. Uh, a thin font. I have not decided which one to go for, but uh, I'm going to type 100 for the font size and for the color. I'm going to click here and put in the last number we sampled. So that would be 7B5455. All right, I'm going to click here and all caps, put the caps lock on and type chocolate. I'm going to select the whole text and go here on top and I change the font to something narrow. Again, I have not decided which font to go for and it doesn't really matter if you don't have this font, you can choose any font you want. Um, for the sake of the example, um, I can stick with this one, but I need to make it a little bit smaller. So the one I am using is called Century Gothic. Gothic. Again, you don't really have to go for this. You can ch choose any font you want. Uh, with the help of the Move tool, I center this, and uh, you see the guidelines show up. The quick guidelines, these purple lines, and, and it allows me to um, align this vertically and horizontally. All right, now we have our text layer, and we need to go over some effects and add some effects to it. The first effect I want to apply is a drop shadow. So let's click on FX and go all the way down to drop shadow. All right, so the numbers that I have and they work well, I'm happy with, um, are these. I have 100% for the opacity, 90 degrees for the angle, 8 for distance, 
0 for spread and 10 for size okay I'm gonna press OK and preview it that looks pretty good I'm happy with that I'm going to apply another effect you can apply as many effects as you want I'm gonna go to effects again and this time choose the first item here uh, sorry not the blending option this one there you go second item uh, bevel and emboss again I have set bunch of numbers here that I'm happy with and gives me this uh, effect that I want um, let's zoom in and take a look for depth I'm going for 63 angle is 90 degrees altitude of 30 degrees and that's pretty much all I've set okay we have one more um, effect added so we, we have uh, bevel and we have drop shadow and it looks pretty good I'm happy with the result and that's um, basically it is it's, it's very simple to apply effects if you have changed your mind you want to get rid of any of these effects you can click on these eyeballs to disable them if you want to permanently get rid of any of these effects you can drag them to the garbage bin here if you would like to make any modifications to these effects you double click on it and it brings you back to here to this layer effect and make all these changes I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching